Hi, my name is Nicholas Flatoff. I'm head of service for Savita Coffee, and we're here at Torch Coffee Company in the beautiful Guatemala City with one of our brand new Precision Fill Mini units. We'll be taking this out of the crate, getting some of the shipping support brackets and other setup work taken care of, so from crate to operating. We're going to start by taking the machine out of the crate. I like to pull the top off first. We're going to be using a Phillips number two driver and we'll just pull out all of our fasteners up on the top here. From there we can pop the top off and see the machine orientation. And it looks here like this is the front of the machine. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, it doesn't really matter, but uh, I'm going to pull off these um, outside layered panels first, and then we'll grab the side panels off. Now that we have the walls removed from the crate, we're able to take our accessory cable, get that off, and pull our accessories box out. We'll set that to the side for now. And then we're going to pull off these nuts from all of the foot brackets. Okay, and while I was taking those off, I was feeling the bolt head at the bottom just to make sure it's not spinning. You usually don't need to secure the bottom bolt head. It's uh, just under enough tension, um, but every once in a while if that's spinning, then you're not going to get the nut off. Now that we have those out, we will grab a hammer and just pound those off. Being careful to not hit the uh, precision fill mini. And then we'll do the same for the back. There we are. Now we can lift the precision fill. So now we're going to lift the precision fill. Um, I'd recommend two to four people for this. We're going to use three people and we'll lift it right onto our workstation. The important things here are make sure you have a really good grip on it and you're not holding on to the plastic. You want to be holding on to the machine itself so it doesn't slip. At this point, I want to bring up the Precision Fill Mini Quick Start Guide. There's a number of ways you can get this. You should have gotten uh, a To Read First document emailed to you when you purchased the machine. That should have a link to it. You can also go to docs.savdacoffee.com slash look first, and that will have all of the equipment, um, uncreate and assembly uh, information, and we just tap Precision Fill Mini. Or if you tap text uh, Savda Service on WhatsApp, um, you'll get a link right to that uh, look first document automatically. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and use that, uh, that quick start guide to get the machine up and running, and we'll follow that step by step. Um, I won't reference it in the video, but um, this uh, video is a companion video to that document. We'll go through the whole process. Okay, first we're going to remove this protective plastic. Now that we've got it where we want it to be, chances of damage are less likely. At this point, it's good to check out the equipment, make sure that there's no external damage. Um, that would also apply when the crate just arrived. If the crate was damaged, um, you'd need to let us know immediately so that our insurance can kick in and cover it. Um, once you accept the equipment and 24 hours pass, uh, the liability is transferred over to you guys. So be really uh, precise about inspecting the equipment, and making sure that there's no damage um, to the crate on delivery and immediately after um, removing the crate walls on the equipment themselves. If there is, let us know, we'll take care of it, um, but just do it really quickly. <laughs> Rotate the machine so that we've got good access to the back panel and we'll remove that. 
So you can see here, we have air supply and air out. Um, air out, this is just a pressure relief valve for us. So the air that's being, um, that's compressed inside these solenoids, when it uh, actuates, that's gonna get released through here. We'll get our accessories box opened up. And inside the accessories box, we've got some airlines, um, some extra solenoids, an air gun, etc. But what we want is we want to pull out our air regulator. These two screws are what will be used to install it. So we'll back those out. Just leave that top one loose so we can get the bottom one in nice and easy. And now we will tighten them. Now that the regulator is installed, we are going to attach some of our fittings. So the air supply, uh, this is what's going to hook up onto your regulator here. And the way that that will get hooked up is just with a push connect like this. And so we're going to go ahead and install our pre-wrapped um, push connect right into the air regulator. And we'll plug that right in. In fact, I think we've got enough extra space to run it like that. The other option is you can hide it on the inside of the machine. The danger with doing that is if you put any pressure on the load cell in the back, um, we'll see that in a second, but it can mess up your weighing function. So it's recommended to not um, put any uh, slack on the inside of the machine. The other alternative is you could just cut this and plug it right in there. Okay, since we're back here, we're gonna go ahead and install our um, compressed air gun. That's what I've done. I got a little ahead of myself there. I just took out one of these push connects and inserted it into the air gun, um, ignoring the connector that came with the air gun. We don't need that. Um, we're going to use one of these push connects and we'll get that in nice and tight. And then the orange cable is for your air gun. You could use some of the blue if you wanted, if you prefer blue. Um, and we're gonna get that hooked up right into a T. Before we do that, this cut isn't very clean, so we're just going to clean up that cut a little bit. We'll pop that T on there. And then we're gonna just take a small piece of our extra blue and insert that here. Then this, Air gun is almost ready to be installed. We'll insert our one more push connect onto the inlet side of the regulator and tighten that. Okay. Now we can put this in here and then this is where your connection for the air compressor will go. I do want to make the point that you could very easily install this on the regulated side if you wanted a little bit less pressure coming to your air gun. I personally prefer a little bit more pressure. It's nice to sweep, just blow everything out of the roastery. Um, so I like it on the um, high pressure side, uh, but you can do either. Okay, now that we have the air gun hooked up, we have this cable hooked up to our air compressor. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can get down to this size. We send a bunch of different attachments. Um, and adapters and different things, but uh, it really it depends on the air compressor that you've purchased, what's going to be required um, to get connected to the inlet on the precision fill. Uh, but now that we have the um, compressed air line hooked up, we're able to just pop that either here, if our gun is on this side, or directly into this port um, if the gun is over on this side. And with our compressed air hooked up to our regulator, we're going to set this regulator to 0.4 MPA, or four on the blue scale. 
and we'll just pop the lock up and just twist this until we get to four. Beautiful. We lock it. Okay. If you have an earlier model machine, you will need to attach um, these air connections here. Um, and this back side, it's a little bit hard to see, but it's coming over to the right, the air out side. Um, since um, I think late 2023, we've been shipping that all connected for you, so you won't need to worry about it. We are now done with the compressed air at the back of the machine. We're gonna rotate the machine over to the side and um, we'll do the right side actually. We're gonna remove the shipping support brackets. And it's very important that you remove all of these, otherwise the machine won't work. Um, and uh, that's gonna be the first thing that we'll ask for in, if you contact us for tech support, is a photo of the inside of the machine um, and uh, this piece right here um, to ensure that those shipping support brackets are removed. So please make sure you do this step. And we'll start out on the inside of the machine right here, this white piece. This is the shipping support bracket. So we're going to pull it off from here and pull, uh, they're a little bit hard to see, but some screws down here. And we'll take that piece off and then we'll do it on the other side as well. Okay, at this point, I do want to point out something on the inside of the machine here, which is that we do have some coffee residue in here. That's because, um, it's not because it's used, it's because uh, we test these machines at the factory before we package them. And so you occasionally may have a little bit of coffee residue in there. Okay, and finally, we are going to pull this bracket out all the way. You can either loosen it and then tighten this jam nut and just leave it like that, or you can just remove the entire thing. It's your preference. Okay, so we have our compressed air lines installed and we have our shipping support brackets removed. Um, the next step is to install the foot pedal and the power plug. So I'm going to install the computer end of our C14 or C13 right here. And then we'll plug that into the wall here. Now you can see our power button right here. It is glowing. Um, that means that it was on, now it's off. And so we might as well turn it on. And then the foot pedal is going to similarly attach right next to that power cable. And just like so. And we'll drop that down on the ground here. Yeah. And so right off the bat, um, we're getting a weight reading. We don't have any negative OFL or positive OFL or AD OFL displayed. If you have any of those things displayed, um, before contacting us, make sure that the uh, shipping support brackets are removed. Um, and uh, while you're doing that, just grab a photo of it uh, because we'll ask for that um, to continue uh, providing support um for those issues um, but this is what you should see when you turn the machine on it's auto zeroed for us and uh, um, we don't have any weird indicators or errors showing on the screen our next step is going to be to level the machine and there's two important ways that it needs to be level it needs to be level left to right more importantly it needs to be level front to back if it's tilted back a little too far the coffee's not going to come out if it's tilted forward a little too far the coffee's just going to keep flowing out regardless of if it's on or not so this is a good reference plane for it being level. If the bubble is up a little bit like that, just lower the front feet or raise the rear feet. Um, this is level here. Uh, we're also going to check for it being level. It's a little hard to see, but along the um, front of the machine there. And here it looks like the uh, uh, left side is high. So I'm going to show you how to drop these feet really quick. So since this side of the machine is high, what we're going to do is screw the feet in in order to bring this, the machine over this way and level the uh, machine side to side. We'll start by loosening the jam nuts. 
on both the front and rear feet. And then I'm just going to give myself a little bit of wiggle room. I'm not going to tilt the machine all the way over. I don't want to push it over, but I'm going to get on here and just tighten those feet a little bit. We'll check to see if it is level. And then just lastly, make sure it's stable. This foot is a little bit loose here. So we'll undo that jam nut and tighten this just until it's firmly on the table. And then we'll go ahead, tighten all our jam nuts and the machine is level. So that concludes this companion video to the quick start guide. Your next steps are going to be to check the weights uh, readout of this, which basically you're going to run it through a cycle um, and see if the amount of coffee that comes out matches what's uh, displayed on the screen. And then you'll do some uh, recipe creation or recipe modifications. Um, all of that is covered in the manual and there will be a separate video um, to assist with those steps as well.